Let's talk about the ocean, everybody. Paul Verzi, the whole week, has been trying to get me to go swimming in the fucking ocean. So he does the usual thing about, like, you know, you actually have a greater chance of being struck by lightning than you do of uh, getting eaten by a shark. Enjoy the water. All right, first of all, who wants to be struck by lightning? Both of those things are horrible things. You know, that's like, you know, you have just as great a chance of getting unwillingly fucked in the ass as you do as being lit on fire at a fireworks show. And it's, I know that stat isn't true, but I'm just saying, both of those things are horrible. All right. And f- I really should have thought this through more, but I'm, I'm too far now and I'm not hitting a race. Um, yeah, that whole bullshit, you have a greater chance of getting struck by lightning than getting eaten by a shark is fucking bullshit when it comes to me. It isn't, because I'm never going to get struck by lightning, because when it's thundering out, I go inside. Okay? When I step into the ocean, I have now walked into the room where all the sharks that ain't at SeaWorld or some fucking aquarium are at. So don't give me that bullshit. I have 0% chance of being struck by lightning. I don't go outside when there's lightning. Walking into the ocean where the sharks are is the same thing as if it was lightning out if I put a fucking, I don't know, some sort of metal hat on and just walked out there. So go fuck yourselves with that. Not to mention, I go out, I, I, I don't go in the ocean. I frolic. I frolic along the beach. That's where I go. You know? That's where I go. It takes me back to the, the old joke I used to do in my act where people were like, you know, 90% of shark attacks actually happen in shallow water. And these fucking idiots think you're safer if you're in deep water. It's like, dumb, dumb. That's where the people are. It's called the beach. 90% of people that are in the ocean are at the fucking beach. Okay? And then you got the people that like to scuba dive and swim in the caves and get certified you know, and break records, holding their breath and doing all of that crazy stuff. That, that's, that's a whole other human. All right? Those people who watched Aquaman too many times and now they want to go live it. Talking to fish. Tuna, swordfish. Um, yeah, so I go into the fucking ocean, frolicking with my kids, you know, having a good time, skipping around. Zinc oxide on my cute little button nose, right? And uh, all of a sudden, I feel something nibbling at my foot. And I look down. It's like this little fucking crab, like the size of my thumb. Coming up like, uh, hey, this is my territory. So I give him a little kick, you know. With, you know, I put on a show. I make sure the sand at the bottom comes up. You know what? This guy, this fucking thing jumped up in the air. Like Jordan. And just had its claws out. No, it was like Ralph Macchio. And a karate kid, it just fucking went up in the air like, let's do this. And I'm just looking at this little shit. Like, I could just crush you, and even you want to fight. You know why that, 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 you know why that crab is like that? Because it knows where it is. Okay, it's in the fucking ocean. And the thing about the ocean, what I love about the ocean that lulls all these fucking, these, these goddamn sea lion looking people with their rolls of fucking jelly coming down the fucking beach. What I love about these people is these same people wouldn't, you know, would you walk into the jungle barefoot wearing a pair of shorts? If there were bears, tigers, lions, wherever the fuck you were at, right? I guess a bear lives in the forest. I don't know. Is that like the suburbs of the jungle? I live in the forest. I just got sick of the jungle. Too much murder, you know, too much crime. Just came out here where the air is a little fresher, less hunters. Um, Yeah, that's what you do when you go into the ocean. You're basically walking into a jungle that's underwater, that has a bunch of shit in there that could fucking kill you, including the water. When you walk into the jungle, can the air kill you? Does the air all of a sudden start moving in a direction that drags you along and you got to be like, okay, I can't breathe right now. Maybe I'll, I just need to like sort of swim, walk parallel to this until I can fucking breathe again. Um, 
Yeah. So I know you guys enjoy the beach. I'm not saying don't enjoy the beach. I'm just saying start coming at me with your dumbass fucking stats. All right. I know what I'm dealing with here. Jacques Cousteau's kid got killed by a shark. Who knew more about the ocean than Jacques Cousteau? Nobody. So I'm not listening to you and your stupid, I Googled chances of, hey, theory, chances of shark attack. And then you're going to come at me. Hey, hey, Bill, enjoy the ocean. That's what Verzi says to me. Enjoy the ocean. As if he just debunked all of my fears. All of a sudden, he's an oceanographer because he talked to the fucking broad in his phone. Whatever. Um, having said that, my, my daughter wanted to go in the ocean, so I put the floaties on her, and I finally said, fuck it, and I went out there, and, you know, I, had a, I enjoyed myself. You know, if you're into swimming in dirty water, I don't understand what the problem is. Well, like, we got pools. You can see all the way to the bottom. The only chemical in the pool is to help make the water cleaner as opposed to whatever the fuck DuPont put in the, the water or the raw sewage that people haven't realized just around the corner that somebody's dumping in there. Um, all right, Bill, we get it. You don't like the ocean. Um, I do like the ocean. I also like the jungle. I know I'm not a part of it. Actually, is that really true? I guess if you go back to caveman days, I am part of the jungle and the forest. Wow, I just figured it out. I'm a spineless caveman. <laughs> I'm a caveman that wouldn't have made it back in the day. Um, also, I got to tell you, I'm into those fucking kayaks. You know, just kind of going around. But you got to make sure you get a bigger one. You get one of the small ones. You, you don't realize it's just for a kid. You just sink down to the bottom. But uh, I've been watching people cruising around. Just off the coast. I mean, that looks better to me. Be above the water. Some shark comes over. It bites, you know. Do you know you have a greater chance of being struck by lightning in a kayak than you do of getting bit by a shark? I would disagree because the kayak's made out of plastic. All right? So's the helmet. All right? And then the fucking oar is made out of plastic. The handle's made out of wood. I'm doing all the things I need to do to avoid lightning. Five hundred people a year get eaten by show whatever the fuck they said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs>